Hey, what's up, everybody? This is a line fire update. It's October 10th, 2024. Towards the end of the video, I thanked a few of you for helping me out. And Division Chief Bob, Janice, Amy, I appreciate you guys a lot. I know there's a few more who have sent me Cash App and uh, Venmo, but I just got my new phone. And um, I don't have any of that information anymore. And if you like send me a message and, and remind me, I really want to thank you. But anyway, let's get to the line fire update. I appreciate all the love and support. Hey, what's going on everybody? How you doing today? It is October 10th and I am getting a wind sock for this phone. So uh, we don't have to listen to the annoying wind anymore. You can just listen to the annoying me. <laughs> anyway, this is a line fire update, you guys. So far today, it has burned 43,978 acres at 93% containment. There's still a level two evacuation warning for Seven Oaks, but that is it for the area. So let me tell you what the current situation is. Smoke will continue to be visible south of Angeles Oaks for a few days as an interior island of fuels is consumed. Crews are working in the area and there is no concern. Demobilization of some crews and resources will be happening over the next few days. Crews that remain will be working on and monitoring backhauling equipment, suppression air, as well as direct and indirect line construction. Yesterday's gusty winds provided wind testing to Siberia Creek and No Name Creek areas. Containment lines continue to be reinforced. Crews were inserted to continue to improve and reinforce around the interior island. On the fire's eastern edge, helicopters continue to drop water on the interior islands. Temperatures are slowly falling, guys, but remain well above normal for this time of year. Relative humidity values are remaining low during the day with poor to moderate recoveries at night. Slightly stronger afternoon winds out of the southeast or southwest will continue with gusts between 20 and 25 miles per hour with the continued dry heat. The fire area is under a fuels and fire behavior advisory with low overnight humidity further drying out fuels. The main challenge in these conditions continues to be focused around Angeles Oaks off Highway 38 with additional concerns south of Big Bear near Mill Creek and in the Santa Ana River drainage. Inaccessible areas at the confluence of Bear and Siberia Creeks are susceptible to slope reversals due to the continuing dry hot weather patterns. Evacuation warnings remain in place for the Barton Flats. Oh, I guess they have some more evacuation warnings that didn't show. So. Uh, Barton Flats, Pine Zanita, and Seven Oaks communities. Highway 330 remains closed from Highland Avenue to Highway 18 as Caltrans performs repairs to the road and guardrails. The closure orders from the San Bernardino National Forest remain in place. So that is our most up-to-date information, you guys. And uh, something, something also, I, I just really wanted to say thank you guys a lot for, um, for the support. And some of you have actually sent me some Venmo donations, some cash, some checks, like, uh, like blown away. There have been quite a few. Um, I, th there's been Andrew, Teresa Tenney, Michael Dole. Um, I think Andrew's last name was Ferguson. Um, um, oh my gosh. Uh, 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 our, our good friend, Steve from big bear city sent a hundred bucks in the mail. Um, it's quite remarkable. There's a couple more um, on the next video. I will make sure that I get the rest of these names. But guys, thank you so much. It's so helpful. It is so helpful. I put a lot of effort into this. I never expect anything in return. Um, so for you showing me that appreciation, I, I promise you guys I will never, ever, ever let you down. At least I, I hope not. I'm, I'm always going to put 110% into this channel like I have for a decade now. So thank you guys again for everything. And uh, yeah. This fire is looking like it's coming to a uh, slow, slow end. Love you guys a lot. Sorry again about all this wind. Take care from beautiful Big Bear Lake, California. Talk to you later.